Hi everybody, it's Crystal. I'm going to show you how to make this little uh, women's top today. Now you can make it with these ruffle sleeves or you can leave it off. It's option. The sleeves are optional. So it's kind of what it looks like. Pretty much the same on the back. And you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. And for you're going to need um, close to 620, probably, probably about 620 yards of yarn especially if you're going to put the sleeves on. So a good two full skeins is what you're going to need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project, I'm using Caron Simply Soft. It's a worsted weight, four ply acrylic. The color is blue mint, but you can use any kind of four ply yarn that you have. And I'm using a size I five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, I'm making mine to fit size large to extra large. And for that size, you need to start out with a chain of 90. And once you get your chain of 90 made, you want to follow it down. And slip stitch into the very first stitch to form one large ring. And then we'll start off with a chain of three. And that cha chain of three counts as a double crochet. Now I'm going to go along without twisting the chain. And I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch of the hook all the way around. And I'm going to make sure that I keep my stitch count of 90. So I'm going to work my way around putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around my large ring until I get back to the beginning and then I'll meet you back up there. Okay, once you make it back around, you want to count and make sure you have 90 stitches. And you want to slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain 3. And then we'll chain 3 again, which counts as our first double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two double crochets in a row. And on the third one, we'll do a double crochet increase. So this counts as one. And we'll go into the next stitch and we'll put one. And in the third one, we're going to make this an increased stitch. We'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. Like that. And then we'll go two double crochets in a row. One. Two. And then the next one will be a double crochet increase, two double crochets in the same stitch. And then we'll put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one, two. The next stitch we'll get two double crochets in the same stitch. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and the next stitch gets two double crochets in the same stitch so I'm going to go ahead and finish and I'll meet you back around at the beginning okay I made it back around at the end of this round you should have a total of 120 stitches you want to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Okay, we're going to chain three again, and that counts as our first double crochet. Now this time around, we're going to put three double crochets in a row, and then a double crochet increase on the fourth one. So here's one, two, 
three, and the next stitch will get two double crochets in the same stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, three, and then two double crochets in the same stitch on the next one. So that's the pattern that you want to repeat this time around. Three double crochets in a row and then a double crochet increase. Three and then two in the same stitch. Three and then two in the same stitch. All the way back around to the beginning. I made it back, I made it back around again after that third row and you should have a total of 150 stitches now and you want to slip stitch again into the top of your chain three start out with a chain three this time around we're going to be putting four stitches four double crochets in a row and then the double crochet increase so here's one make sure you're getting this one because sometimes it looks funny the first one but two three, four, and then the next one will be a double crochet increase, two double crochets in the same stitch. And then now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches, one, two, three, four, the next stitch will be the double crochet increase, two double crochets, and the same stitch. So we're going to repeat this all the way around, back to the beginning. Four double crochets, and then a double crochet increase, all the way back. Okay, at the end of that round, I just slip stitch into top, in the top of my chain three. And I didn't tie off, I just kind of pulled up a big loop so it wouldn't come undone. Now I'm going to mark off for the sleeve holes. So I'm going to turn it around here and fold it in half. You should have a total of 180 stitches after this round. And now what you want to do is, starting with the chain three, you need to count over counting the chain three is one, 32 stitches and put a stitch marker in the 32nd stitch. And then what you want to do, counting from the next one from the stitch marker, counting this one is one, count over 30 stitches and put a stitch marker in the next one. So actually you're counting over 31 and putting the stitch marker in the 31st stitch. So you'll have 30 stitches in between the stitch marker. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side starting with, here's your chain three, starting with the next one behind it as number one, count over, and on a 32nd stitch put a stitch marker and then you want to count over again and on a 31st stitch you put a stitch marker so you'll have 30 stitches in between the stitch markers and that's going to be the sleeve holes. Okay once we got our sleeve holes marked off I'm going to start where I left off. I'm going to start by chaining one and I'm going to go back into the exact same stitch and single crochet like that and now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my first stitch marker so and don't forget this one sometimes it don't really look like a stitch because it pulls so tight but it's there so one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my 
very first stitch marker. Okay, when I make it to my first stitch marker, I want to single crochet into the stitch that, that has the stitch marker. And then you can take this marker out because we don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to do a chain of 20. Not a real tight chain. One, two, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And now I'm going to take my chain and I'm going to skip all these stitches until I get to my next stitch marker and then I'm going to single crochet into the stitch that has the marker like that and then I can remove that stitch marker and now we've created one sleeve hole okay now I'm going to continue with my single crochets one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next set of stitch markers and then we'll do the same thing to create the other sleeve. Okay, I made it to my next stitch marker. So again, I'm going to single crochet into the stitch that has the stitch marker and I can take it out. And then I'm going to do a chain, not a real tight chain, of 20 again. One, two, three, these stitches and then when I get to stretch my chain over to my next stitch marker single crochet into that stitch that has the stitch marker can remove that stitch marker now I'm just going to finish out the rest of this round with one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back around, I'm going to slip stitch into the top into the top of my first single crochet to close that round out. Now I'm going to start the main uh, the main pattern for the rest of the shirt. So I'm going to start it off by doing a chain six. Now what that chain six represents is a double crochet with a chain three attached. So now I'm going to yarn over and go back into the same stitch and double crochet. The same stitch. Just like that. So what I did was a V-stitch there in the beginning. Three of these chains is going to count as a double crochet, chain three in the middle, and then another double crochet. Now I'm going to chain one, skip four stitches, skip, 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 and then the fifth one, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to double crochet, chain three, and go back into the same stitch and double crochet. Just like that. We only have to do this big long chain on the first one. After that, they're going to be like this. So now we chain one again, skip four, and the next one, we double crochet. chain three, 
go back into the same stitch and double crochet. Chain 1, skip 4, skip, 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 skip. In the fifth one we do another V stitch. Double crochet, chain 3, go back in the same stitch and double crochet. So that's a repeat that we're going to repeat all the way around. Chain 1, skip 4, skip, 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 skip. In the next one we do our V stitch, double crochet, chain 3, go back in the same stitch and double crochet. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. When I get to my sleeves or my chains here, I'll go hurry up and get to my, my chains and I'll show you. Skip four, do a V stitch, chain three, chain one in between, skip four, Now we're going to continue this pattern along these chain stitches. So now I need to chain one and I need to skip four. So one and we count the stitches of the chain, two, three, four, and then the next one go into it and do the V stitch. So we're just, the chains are just acting as the same stitches. Just going to continue this pattern along these chains. Chain one, skip four, one, two, three, four, and then the next one we do our V stitch. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back around, I just did my last V stitch and I chained one. You should have four stitches left and if you don't, if you got like three or five, don't worry about it because you're not going to be able to tell it. I'm actually surprised that I came out right because I make these items that I make and I just wing it as I go. I don't have a pattern so I just kind of keep a little calculator beside me to kind of figure up the stitches the best that I can as I go so sometimes it doesn't work out for me so I'm really surprised it did and if it didn't for you please don't take it all out it's not really that big of a deal but once you make it back around you want to slip stitch into the third stitch of this chain six like that okay now we're going to slip stitch over into this space we're going to be working in in the chain three spaces so slip stitch over into it like that and we're going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And we need to do seven double crochets all in this very first space. So that's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Now I'm just going to just jump right over to the next space, put seven double crochets in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and jump over to the next V stitch, the next space, seven double crochets. And we're going to do this seven double crochets in every single one of these uh, chain three spaces from the V stitches, including the ones that we did on our arm hole, all the way around. Seven, 
jump to the next one and do seven more, seven here, seven here, all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you did your seven double crochets in every V-stitch, I'll show you how to start the next row. You just want to slip stitch into the chain three here of your first set of seven. Now we need to slip stitch over to the middle stitch of this group of seven. So it's actually the fourth one over this way. So we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And this is how we're going to start every row of the V's. Slip stitch and slip stitch like that. So once you get in that middle stitch, you can start again with your V stitches by doing a chain six, which is the double crochet and the chain three. Now you want to yarn over, go back in that same stitch and double crochet. And that's our first V stitch. And then we got a chain one in between. Jump over to the next set of seven and do a V stitch in the middle one. Yarn over, double crochet, chain three, go back in and double crochet. There's our next V stitch, chain one in between, jump to our next set of seven, and in the middle stitch, do the same thing, another V stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. And then when we get back to the beginning, we're going to do our groups of seven in each V-stitch. And then we do our V-stitch, and then our groups of seven. So we're just repeating these two rows around. And I did a total of ten, where I have ten of the shell stitches. You want to end in a round of shell stitches, just like I did here. And you, when you get to your last row of shell stitches, you just end it by slip stitching into the chain three and then tie it off and you can do it as long as you want that's completely up to you mine might might not be as long I mean you might want yours longer than mine it's really up to you but once you get that done I'm gonna start I'm gonna go around the entire top with a row of single crochet just to <clears throat> clean up the edges so I'm starting in the back here you can start in any stitch you want. I'm just going to go in, chain one, go back in that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch along the top here, along the collar area. This is just to make it look a little cleaner at the top. So one single crochet, every stitch, all the way around the whole neckline, or the collar. Okay, I, I went around the whole top with a row of single crochet, so I'm just going to slip stitch into my first single crochet. Tie this off, and I can hide that tail in a little bit. Now I'm going to show, I'm going to do sleeves with or without sleeves. So, I'm going to go around both sleeves with a row of single crochet. So you can start anywhere that you want. I'm going to start right here into the corner. Chain one. Go back into the same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm just going to go all the way around putting one single crochet in every stitch of the entire sleeve area. You can see that this is where we made that chain for the armhole in the very beginning. I'm just doing single crochet in it.
just to make it look a little bit cleaner, the sleeve holes. Now I'm going to continue that on one single crochet in every stitch all the way up and all the way that uh, single crochet this part, this part of the sleeve until I get back to the beginning and I'm going to do that to both sleeves. Once you made it around your whole sleeve and you're back to your starting point, you just want to slip stitch into the first single crochet, tie that off, and remember you want to do both sleeves the same, you want to go around both sleeves. Now once you get your tails hidden, you can be done if you want. Okay, I can show you, I'm going to show you how to make this off an optional um, ruffle sleeve on it if you want to put sleeves on it. So you just want to come over here to the sleeve area. And I'm going to be working the ruffle in this area only. Not this um, armpit area or the, the underneath of your arm area. Only on this top part of the shirt. So it's real easy. If you want to start. And it doesn't start it right about you can see this row of single crochet that we did in the very beginning and here's where we made our chain just start somewhere right around here it doesn't have to be exact but and we'll start off now we're going to do both sleeves the same we'll start off with chain and one now i'm going to put a single crochet into the next stitch a single crochet into the next stitch two half double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one, two, two half double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, and now the rest of these stitches are going to get three double crochets in each stitch. So three doubles in that one. And go to the next three doubles and the next one three doubles now you want to go across the whole top part of the sleeve putting three double crochets in each stitch all the way across this top part until you get to and remember we're only doing to we're not going to do down here. So when you get to the last one, two, three, four, five stitches, I'll meet you up there. And that's where we'll start to slowly taper down with half doubles and singles. So go ahead and work across putting three double crochets in every stitch. Now when you make it back to the other side and you have about five stitches remaining, one, two, three, four, five, until you get to where this chain would start, we want to kind of just go down and we're going to put two half doubles in the next stitch, two half doubles in the next stitch. So we're kind of just doing what we did on the other side. Single in the next, single in the next, and then a slip stitch into the next, like that. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now I'm just going to kind of go back up again. I'm going to put a single crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch. Now we had two stitch, stitches that had two half double crochets a piece so we want to put one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets from the previous row. So that'll be four total half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four half doubles now I'm going to work across putting one double crochet in each of the previous double crochets. So just one double crochet in every stitch now. Until I get back down to the other side 
where we started putting half double crochets again. So I'll just meet you up over there. One double crochet in each of these double crochets from the previous row. Okay, I made it back to the other side. And again, I'm going to half double in each of these four half double crochets from the previous row. One half double in each of them. Three, four, and then I got two single crochets. One, two, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch like that. And I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to repeat that row one more time. You can actually repeat it as many times as you want. I'm just going to do it one more time. So I'm just going to single crochet in each of the single crochets, half double in each of the half double crochets. There'll be four of them. And then I'm going to double crochet in each of the double crochets. And then when I get to the other side, I'll just taper back down by half doubling in the half double crochets and single crochet into the single crochets. So I'm just repeating the row that we did before. Okay, I made, I made it back to the other end and I did my four half doubles, my two singles, and now I'm just going to slip stitch into the last stitch and tie this off. Now remember these sleeves are optional. You don't have to do them, but could have left it the other way. I gotta hide that tail. But after that, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you were able to follow along okay. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other tutorials. I got a bunch of clothes and a whole bunch of bags. Baby stuff. All kinds of stuff. And I always have a bunch of giveaways too so don't forget to check that out. And please come check me out on Facebook also. And until next time, have a good day.